there's nothing as powerful as a changed mind. You can change your hair, your clothing, your address, your spouse, your church, your residence. But if you don't change your mind, the same experience will perpetuate itself over and over again because everything outwardly changed, but nothing inwardly changed. There is nothing as powerful as a changed mind. Teach you what the real prison is. It's not surrounded by barbed wire, electrical fences. The real prisons do not have guards. The real prison is up here. And we all got it. We all have a mind that chatters. So often won't stop chattering. You are the reason you're not winning. You keep messing with negative, evil, and dysfunctional people and expecting positive results. How easy and how convenient is it for us to blame everything and everybody for the things that we have going on in our lives? There is a such thing as you being a positive and a great person with the best of intentions towards everybody and shit is rough and you just can't get a break. But most of you, most of you are waking up every day looking for pain, dysfunction, drama, unemployment, being broke, struggling, dropping every excuse in the book about your childhood and the problems and dysfunction that you grew up in that's stopping you from becoming successful. You don't like your friends, so why are you still fucking with them? You don't trust your managers, agents, and lawyers, so why are they still there? Do you really expect your life and career to be any different from messing with the same things, people, and situations? Because if you're going to blame people for all the shit, you better blame them for all the good, too. If you're going to give them credit for everything that's fucked up, then you have to give them credit for everything that's great. I'm not asking you to stop blaming. I'm saying blame elegantly, blame intelligently, blame effectively. Blame at the level of your soul, not the level of your fucking head. Because life is not so simple and black and white to dump out all jealousy, all pettiness, all unforgiveness, all strife, all malice, all confusion, all blaming other people for your mistake. You got till midnight to get rid of every poison that's hindering you, every inflexibility that's stopping you from what God is about to pour into your life. Woe be unto you if you go into another year and waste another year with the old mentality while somebody's in the hospital begging God for the opportunity that you have right now. You better step into this moment. You have to fix the mind before you can bestow the blessing because until they get their mind right, everything you invest in them is going to leak out of the crevices of a mind that refuses to change. I will rejoice and be glad that I will rejoice. I, as an act of my will, I've decided I'm going to rejoice. I made up my mind. I'm going to be happy. I made up my mind. I'm going to enjoy. I'm as healthy as I'm going to be. I'm as young as I'm ever going to be. I can't get any younger. I can't roll the clock back. Well, with what I got left, I'm going to maximize this. I will rejoice.